All right, so to continue to collage, it's relatively straightforward. We're going to go to this bottom area under sources and we're going to add even more media. I have an image I want to add next. I'm going to call this egg tart. And I'm going to add the egg tart photo. And I know iPhones have been doing this uh, file format called HEIC. Unfortunately, I don't think OBS is compatible with HEIC, so I had to re export them out in uh, preview as just like JPEGs. So I like kind of this egg tart situation about this size right here. And I'm just going to continue using both image add and also media source light shadows loop and again this is a vertical video so this is flipped so we're going to transform clockwise this beautiful mural in Chinatown from Wing and Wo one of the oldest stores in Chinatown. And yeah, so once you go back to Zoom, you'll see that Zoom is displaying your collage as your video feed. Yay! I like using this tool because it allows for some flexibility with using OBS as your collaging tool. Um, I've also done a screen share and would VJ on my desktop using just open windows in QuickTime. Um, this tends to produce a nicer, cleaner result, a more higher definition result. And I've also been in situations where I would need to perform to a DJ um, who will be streaming their sound in through share screen on Zoom. So I don't believe you can share your screen visually uh, from another person and then have audio coming in from another person. So what has been helpful has been using this and just having people spotlight me or pin me uh, as the visuals for the night. And it's kind of nice and, you know, like less obtrusive when screen share is happening, you know, everyone kind of gets sucked into the screen share on Zoom. So there's some other really interesting things you can do with OBS. You can bring in a window from an application. You can bring in a browser window. So anything that you can have in the browser can also be a part of this. Um, I'm going to open up text edit. and then add window capture, select text edit in this list. Ooh, not that, but that's cool. All right, and now I have this window also in the space, which is pretty exciting. I'm 
gonna make this a little smaller. And yeah, this can also be another performative element. I'm gonna make the font size 96, make the font red, the background a nice pink. Typing, finding the sun, changing the font, something a little nicer. Renewal, opening and closing. So these were some of the thoughts that I had during our writing exercise, thinking about this time of, you know, things opening back up, going back to normalcy, quote, quote, um, the sense of renewal, and also the sense of opening and closing. And also this fear of forgetting and remembering. Yeah, it's, as you adjust the window size, the window size changes live, which is pretty exciting. And this is my final collage. There's plenty more that you can do, um, adding videos from the browser, different kinds of uh, code-based sketches in the browser. Uh, the possibilities are quite endless. All right, so we are going to take the remaining time that we have in class to collage together our materials to our liking. Um, reminder that the capacity of our computers are all different, so just be mindful about how hard your computer is running. You might need to use more photos rather than videos. And yeah, happy collaging. I hope you enjoyed this course. And to conclude, I'd like to end with three main points. Uh, I like to think about self-archiving as a place to hold space and self-reflect, a way to build language, and a tool to process and honor complex embodied experiences with community. And once we are feeling ready, we'll do a showcase of our collages on Zoom. So Deandra will spotlight different folks who want to talk about their work or share their work or we can just look at all of them together in gallery view and yeah thank you so much for sharing space with me today i hope you enjoy this module